We got a little bit of low voltage fire alarm action. It is a Wednesday and we are in Somerset, Massachusetts today. And this customer called us out, said that they needed to add some fire alarm equipment. They were going to be undergoing a major, major renovation to add a bunch of showcase rooms, a demo room, uh, two bathrooms, just a whole bunch of stuff that's going to be going on. They're going to bring their customers back here to showcase all their appliances and equipment. So they need this fire alarm equipment immediately done before the demo. I'm going to be using the DeWalt cable stapling gun uh, this gun is going to be working perfectly in this scenario because it just gently staples the wire and doesn't overdrive the staple you need to be really careful with fire alarm wire if you overdrive that staple it's going to pinch those wires and the fire alarm equipment is going to show a short or a fault and it's going to be a pain to troubleshoot so you really got to be careful and also here's a little pro tip for you just set the wire in one central location pull a big giant loop there and then eventually when you go to the finish you're going to cut those wires and now you got two ends it just saves a bunch of time that stapling gun is also really awesome because you can see this is all old joist there's a bunch of dust and debris there's even concrete up there i mean it's just a mess so using the stapling gun you don't make all that vibration and drop all that stuff on your face so here's basically just a little overview of what i got i'm probably at the halfway point here i'm pointing out there's some smoke detectors over there there's going to be a smoke detector in that electrical room that's going to be a storage a general storage room so there's a smoke detector going in there above that garage door there's also a smoke detector and i'm pointing out in this room that i'm going to be adding a outdoor strobe which is required on this plan and that's basically going to be signaling so in case the fire alarm goes off you know, the fire department comes they can see that outdoor strobe and it's going to signal them so here is the basically the finished result i got everything nice and labeled with blue painters tape i got everything tie wrapped nicely and the reason for that is i like to label my stuff um, but this is a class b loop so obviously you don't need to push them uh, four feet apart like a class a loop you would have to do um, so i don't need to do that in this scenario i just like labeling everything so if you guys need a fire alarm uh, ran give us a call we're taking